My name is John Dawson and I'm doing a, a series of videos on intaglio etching techniques. Uh, this particular technique uh, you wouldn't find really in any, uh, any books that you're going to uh, look into for uh, etching techniques. Um, it's very similar to uh, um, a sugar lift technique. It requires uh, having a uh, air compressor and um, an airbrush. Um, going to need either Vaseline or petroleum jelly, a little bit of oil paint, and some old, very, uh, very old grungy sort of brushes. Um, if uh, you didn't have an airbrush uh, or a compressor or have access to one, it wouldn't be worth uh, getting one. They're very expensive just for this particular technique. However, I do believe that um, in um, some uh, art supply uh, places, they have uh, these aerosol cans and very inexpensive um, airbrush attachments. I think it's around 20 or $30 that might work for this if it's something that you're interested in trying. So we're going to give this a try. Well, we're going to take a, a little Vaseline or any uh, petroleum jelly will work. Uh, we're going to put um, a little bit of that down here on, um, on the palette. And we're going to add a little bit of oil paint. Now the reason why I'm doing this is to make the um, Vaseline or petroleum jelly more visible. If you have a uh, zinc plate, um, you know, black, uh, paints gray, blue, won't show up quite as well. If you have a copper plate, you know, the reds and oranges and so forth won't show up very well. I'm using violet and it seems to show up pretty well on, on either plate. So we're just going to mix the, um, the oil paint into the Vaseline so that when we paint it onto the plate, it's more visible and it's much more, uh, much easier to see. <laughs> much more easier to see. Much easier to see. So that's all there is to that and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, I have this mixture that I've made with the Vaseline and the oil paint. And this is a real uh, kind of a crummy old brush. And what the reason you want an old uh, kind of a stiff brush is you want to get a lot of tracks. And normally you wouldn't want that in a, in a painting or whatever. But in this case, we want to create some tracks here so they look more like brush strokes. And we'll just add a few here. This is really just for demonstration purposes. And uh, so I think you kind of get the idea of how you, you apply the, uh, the Vaseline. Now we're going to uh, spray this uh, with um, stop out varnish. And then <clears throat> after that's done, I'm going to f apply some uh, paint thinner which will uh, lift off the uh, Vaseline, leaving the, uh, the impression of the brush strokes on the plate, hopefully. So um, here is a, uh, an example of a, uh, a finished print that I've done that uh, I use this uh, technique for. This print is entitled The Old Rough Rocker and uh, the background was done uh, with this uh, technique that I have uh, just been demonstrating. And this is um, a detail of the um, background of the print. And you can see where the brush strokes and so forth have been uh, etched into the plate. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, create uh, what looks sort of like an ink blot onto the uh, etching plate. Uh, first, you're going to need to, a piece of fairly heavy uh, paper, um, uh, you know, like construction paper, something uh, like printer paper is a little too flimsy. I'm going to um, fold it in half and then uh, take some of this uh, Vaseline um, oil paint mixture that we made 
and we're just going to put it in areas down the center. Now, um, you don't want it to be too thick, or otherwise it's just going to smish all over the place. That's a new word, smish. We won't make a big deal out of this, just uh, put some of it on. And uh, I do some areas like on the side. Oh, it's going to look something like that. And you fold it over. And we take a roller. <clears throat> and roll it out. And then we unfold it. It's going to come out to be an ink blot. Now, I usually do two or three of them in order to get the uh, one I like best. And then uh, we're going to put that down onto the surface of the plate and, uh, and roll that out onto the plate. So we'll, we'll do that next. Okay, now we're going to take this, uh, the uh, ink blot that we made. We're going to put it face down on the plate. Take the brayer again. Damn it. Now we're going to go over the top, transferring the um, Vaseline mixture to the plate. Just like that. You need to use an airbrush in this because if um, you tried to paint over the uh, Vaseline with the uh, brush uh, and the uh, stop out varnish. It would just uh, ruin everything you were trying to do with the, uh, the Vaseline. Um, I dilute the uh, stop out varnish with some alcohol in order to uh, allow it to go through the airbrush uh, a lot more smoothly. Well, next to uh, put the plate into a developing tray and flood it with a paint thinner. Then take a paper towel and uh, kind of gently uh, blot out all the areas that had uh, the Vaseline. It comes up fairly, uh, fairly easily. Uh, you don't want to rub it. Just uh, continue to blot it until you get all the areas that had the Vaseline uh, blotted out. Then um, after that, uh, Take a, another paper towel and uh, put it over it and kind of blot it dry. Now this is the plate before I put it in the acid. After you've removed the uh, Vaseline, you have to uh, apply uh, an aqua tint. That would probably be either a spray aqua tint or uh, a rosin aqua tint. And then you need to uh, blot, uh, stop out all the areas that you don't want to edge. Uh, in this case, I used uh, hard round. You could also use uh, stop out varnish. Now, this is the ink flat that I used, uh, that I made from the uh, Vaseline mixture. And um, this is how it printed up on the plate uh, after it was uh, in the acid. Well, for this one, I, uh, I made it kind of an abstract pattern by dribbling uh, hard ground uh, or liquid hard ground uh, onto the plate. Well, once again, I'm using the airbrush to uh, spray on the uh, stop out varnish. Uh, however, in this case, uh, you really don't need the airbrush. The um, uh, hard, uh, hard ground isn't going to smear when you uh, apply the stop out. Uh, so you could actually uh, apply the stop out varnish just as easily or even more easily with a uh, with a paintbrush. This is the plate with the um, hard ground uh, removed. I removed it uh, with a paint thinner, and uh, before I have applied a um, aqua tint. 
Next, uh, the aqua tint was applied to the plate, and then uh, I used um, hard ground to uh, stop out the uh, rest of the plate that I didn't want to uh, have etch. This is the finished plate entitled uh, Windmills of the Mind. And then this is a, a detail from the bottom of the plate showing the abstract uh, pattern that um, I made with the uh, hard ground and then uh, washed out with the paint thinner and etched. Well, that, uh, that about does it for this one. Uh, we'll follow this up with uh, some other examples of prints of mine and uh, the web address for my web page and Facebook page. And if you're interested, you can also uh, subscribe to other uh, videos of mine on YouTube.